Hi everyone. I thought for this Observatory Online, I'd talk about a longer term project that has just had an interesting little milestone. This is the Vera Rubin Observatory. It's currently under construction in Chile. Full, well, full science operation is until 2023, but there are lots of things happening before then. It's a big project. Vera Rubin is itself big. It has an 8.4 meter wide primary mirror. The telescope itself is very fast, which allows it to see lots of transient astronomical events. And it covers actually a huge swathe of the sky. So it's going to be collecting an astonishing volume of data every single day. In fact, one of the issues is how to process that data properly so that it isn't just an overwhelming torrent. We'll add a couple of links uh, so that you can check out more of the cool things about the observatory and it's well worth uh, investigating. But what I wanted to specifically talk about is the main camera, which has just been installed and they're taking the first test images. Now you might think that's not such a big deal, that you've got a camera in your phone, but does your camera phone have 3.2 billion pixels? Because Vera Rubens does. It's an absolute beast. Each image that's taken could be pushed out to uh, around 100 fancy 8K resolution TVs. The clarity is going to be, well, honestly, uh, I'm not really sure what that's going to look like until we see it in action. I've never seen anything like that. But with some very rough calculations, here's my uh, slightly daft proposal. We should go out and we should buy 100 big 8K TVs and we should use them to build a sort of wall and that would be about 250 square meters worth of TV and we let people see these images as they come in in their native resolution. Well, there we go. As I say, it's a bit of a daft idea. But honestly, you should go and check out the Vera Rubin Observatory and get excited about what's coming. And I suppose if you have lots of fancy TVs going spare, uh, get in touch. I mean, I haven't checked with anyone else at the observatory, but I'm sure as soon as we can figure out how to, well, first of all, construct and then store this hypothetical mega TV, I'm sure it'll be fine. Until then, take care. And we'll see you again soon for another Observatory Online.